Hey, I'm Adam with Productivity Academy, and a question I get asked about a lot of tools um, and Todoist in particular is, you know, what's the difference between the free plan, the pro plan? Um, do I need to pay for it? Can I use the free version? Could I test it? How does this work? So I wanted to talk about that with Todoist. Um, so I've got the uh, pricing plan open, and you can go here. It's todoist.com slash pricing, but wanted to talk through a little bit about this uh, to help you make that decision. So we can see here on the left, we've got the beginner, um, and which is great. I think a lot of tools like this, it's really handy to have at least an extended trial, if not a free version um, or level, so that you can get in here and test it out before making the switch if you're coming from another tool and you're gonna experience the pain of switching, um, or if you're just getting started with a to-do manager, um, then this can be a great way to kind of dip your toes in and see if this is the right tool for you. I will say right off the bat, I, I think Todoist is a great tool, great task manager, uh, really handy, love the mobile apps, um, as well as it works well in the browser and the desktop. So definitely, if it's a good fit for you, I recommend it. Um, I used it for years and years and years. I still um, play around with it, use it, uh, recommend it to people. Um, I just happen to use ClickUp more uh, because I use it for uh, project management and it has some task management, not some, it's got a ton of task management features in it. So I don't necessarily need it, but I still find myself coming back to Todoist from time to time. It, it's that good. So let's talk about this. Uh, on the beginner side, we've got five personal projects. And the way that's laid out in Todoist is basically, you can think of it as grouping things together. And I think that this is more than enough to get started with and give you an idea of what projects are really about and how you might use them, where you might have literally a project, a work project or personal project, or if you're kind of using it to categorize some stuff. Um, you've got the, uh, the list and board layout, so that just means like a normal list you would have, but also the Kanban type boards. Um, you can filter your views, that's handy. Um, and then you've got the week history and you can integrate email calendar and, and more. So the integrations there, um, I think the most important one is email. That means that you could email things into Todoist, like forward an email as a task. That is really handy and to get a feel for that. Um, and overall, I think that this is a pretty full featured free tier. Um, I think where you might run out of space more quickly is on the projects and having that limit of five, you might find that you want to end up paying for it. And as you can see, the payment, at least uh, at my, from my point of view, is not um, very much, and they really haven't raised it much over the years. And this is yearly. If you switch to monthly, I think it's a dollar more. So it's $5 per month to go to pro, or if you're yearly, it's $4 annually. Uh, sorry, four times 12 annually. Um, but with that, you get 300, up to 300 projects. You also get the calendar layout, which I have talked about in another video. I'll link that here. Um, and then you get the, uh, you can have task reminders and duration. And then of course, it just kind of bumps up, you know, filter views, activity history, a bunch more. Um, and then if you're using this as a business, you can see over there, basically you're just really ramping things up in terms of the numbers, in terms of folders and projects and people, all of that. So basically what I recommend to people is if you haven't used this before or you don't have a to-do manager, start at the beginner. Just start for free, give it a shot, make sure it works for you before you pay. And then if you're already using something and you know you need this or maybe you're working with teams and you need to really get going, I would say just go for the pro and you can start monthly and switch to annually if you need it. Um, but I find that that works pretty well. There's not a lot missing. The calendar view is really nice, but it's not a must have. You can still see all of your tasks. You can still find things. Um, it's just kind of a nice add on. I think that that is worth it. Anyways, hope this helped you uh, make up your choice and, and see what the differences are here between the, the different levels of Todoist. If you have any comments or questions, just leave it below and I will get back to you.